Good morning everyone, welcome aboard to another Avio Flight Academy, Virtual Flight Academy uh, episode. Welcome to everyone in the chat, Ghostrider115, Connor Morse, and everyone else that will watch the video later on or will hopefully join us later. Uh, we're probably waiting for CJ Hollister, he said he was going to come in uh, uh, to check this lesson, uh, but no, nothing yet. Uh, but we're here with our beautiful Cessna 172 with the real expansion pack in a X-Plane 11. Uh, why X-Plane 11 for these type of flights? Well, because it's the probably most realistic uh, for GA. Uh, P3D and FSX uh, are okay for, you know, if you want to do long haul flight instruments and uh, but um, system wise. But X-Plane 11 is just a great tool for um, GA flying. And... Um, a little brief about how this series is going to be is going to be this is lesson number two so welcome aboard to lesson number two and um, each lesson it's part of a, a program uh, uh, that um, i'm following and uh, i'm usually uh, i'm following the glime uh, the glime program the glime is uh, nothing else than an online flight school basically which a uh, lot of uh, um ground school i would say lot of actually uh, flight school uses like in my flight school epic flight academy when i was in uh, uh, new smyrna beach uh we use climb before our homework i would say we were doing uh, before doing an exam we'll have to complete the climb exams uh we have we have the climb books too and um it's basically it kind of like a tool and uh, the good thing about glime is that you also have this wonderful free tool it's uh there are some free uh downloads you can get when you uh <clears throat> when you register to the website and um i can put the link in the description later on too but uh it's a beautiful tool um there's a little uh you can see the lesson plan so i'll give you the link so you can have a lesson plan what we're going to be doing and um so basically today we'll be covering a couple uh, of things uh, nothing more different really different from the previous one we're still do, gonna do the same uh, maneuvers kind of like uh we'll see if we can do a couple of the manu extra maneuvers but uh we want to focus more today on the aerodynamics of plane what happens if what happened if you know all that kind of uh, important information about physics and aerodynamics uh, that comes with this uh, Cessna 172. Um, this Cessna 172, again, I said uh, has a real expansion pack, is the default X Plane 11 with the real expansion pack. Highly suggest you to get that one instead of getting the airfoil labs uh, because the airfoil labs comes with a cost. And the good thing of the real expansion pack is that you have a G1000 and a, G, a non G1000 product uh, we're going to be flying the g1000 uh, since that's what i did my flight training on um we might do um a second series uh, with the six pack uh but it's basically the same i think actually the uh six packs it's a, a much easier plane to fly rather than the g1000 because the G1000 has a lot of technical things. Uh, if it, even if you do the check ride, it's you need to know the system because of course they will test you on the airplane you'll be flying. So if you'll be flying the G1000, the DPE is gonna ask you so many questions about the G1000 and you will have to know that system. And also it's just a much easier thing to uh, check the instrument, see your level or your level flight and um, it's just uh, so intuitive uh, the g1000 it's uh, very it's helpful the g1000 increases your situational awareness i mean that's why we have a g1000 increase of a situational awareness which is very important in aviation but um otherwise flying i mean is always uh, again we have the 9 10 rule which is the 90 and the 10 rule so that means 90 percent outside 10 percent inside um but yeah let's uh fire up this baby and see what we're going to be doing today um but well before we even start the plane let's actually do a quick overlook on uh, what's going to be our lesson plan for today so again i'm going to pull up my climb here uh and put you on the briefer here we go brief room 
Very good. So we are. Uh, this is our brief room again. This is the website Glime. Glime Private Pilot Syllabus. It's a free uh, tool. Okay, the course is not free. It's a. It's a pay. You have to pay. You need to ever. But um, you can get some free material out of it, like this lesson plan. It gives you a great lesson plan. It doesn't give you knowledge, but it gives you a lesson plan. So you know what you're going to be doing during your lessons. And this is what all Flight Academy usually stick with. More or less, they sometimes they move up and down a little bit, but these are the main thing. And these are the hours that you need to perform. So we need to do an hour introduction flight. We did that. We did the last time. We did a, a couple of turns. Uh, you know stuff like this four fundamentals and then basic instruments and then we're gonna base basically on flight number four so two more flights we're gonna do the stalls and the slow flights um there we go so today we're gonna be doing ground lesson is ground lesson number one even though it's i put it i put it together with this uh, second one because if you think about it fundamentals of flights and aerodynamics they go along very well but um here we go airplanes and aerodynamics uh, four fundamentals of flight um of course uh, uh, we gonna go very briefly not gonna go super we're gonna try to go as deep as possible but without going super crazy on it all right guys if you haven't done it so far yet let's hit the like and subscribe button i would like to know how this lesson plan is coming out uh if i'm getting good feedback i keep going charlie checklist welcome aboard my friend thank you so much for joining us here we go so we got the uh, airplanes and aerodynamics um before we start everything let me see if i can give you this is how actually the climb looks like online ground school um let's do a quick check here this is how your pilots uh, when you are a student pilot you will get a little piece of paper that says medical certificate your medical certificate is also your student pilot license okay so your student pilot license will be integrated on your medical um it usually issues you a third second first class if you do a first class you know there's different uh type uh, um you know there's different type of uh, classes of medical uh, if you want to fly commercially you want a second and the first class if you're going to fly airline you want to need you will need a first class uh third class is perfect for student pilots um and uh, private pilots and this is how your license looks like oh my god I'm about to sneeze maybe maybe not okay no sorry uh, this is how your private pilot looks like okay we're not gonna go in through the sport pilot pilot because uh um it's not exactly what what i did there's the main difference on part 61 and part 141 uh training okay so if you do part 61 it's more about are you I would think it this way it's a very easy way to uh, put it put it down like this uh, there's more into it but uh, the main reason why you have these two is part 61 you are your instructor will say are you ready for the check uh, will uh, we'll see if you're ready for the check ride if you're ready for the check ride they will put you on uh, on a, on a, on a check ride with your DBE uh, which uh, DPE is an FA FAA approved uh, flight instructor, um, flight examiner, okay? Um, and usually it's uh, a guy that does a couple of <laughs> check rights a day. So I really hope you are the very first one because um, <laughs> usually the first ones are the lucky ones. Uh, I've been in times where uh, the last uh, last uh, examiner was so so tired. He just made me do very quick maneuvers, uh, do a stall, uh, do a whatever stall, uh, slow flight, uh, and then some takeoff and landings. And then okay, here's your license. That's it. Sometimes it's a good thing that you're the last one. Sometimes it's a good thing that you are the first one too, because he just like uh, uh, if. Uh, let's think about if the others screwed up everything in your flight school before you all the other students that he had you'd be the last one or you'd be in the middle he will he will hammer you down i'm telling you charlie checklist uh, guys instead of hitting the likes smash it yeah <laughs> here we go so now let's uh get deep into the part 61 part 61 again is the type of flight training uh, um that uh, requires you to go through your flight instructor and uh, see if you are ready for a for a check ride and then go for the check ride. Part one forty one, no. Part one forty one, even one forty one. Even if you are ready, 
or a check right let's say pathetically you're a very good student but you're ready and um but you didn't finish your uh flight uh flight lesson plan uh, you didn't finish your grand school hours you still cannot go to the next check right so there's a, a certain path that you need to follow in part 141 some people say oh it takes longer do your training part 61 wrong do it 141 because the airlines that's what they're looking for they're looking for a part 141 pilots uh commercial pilots so make sure you are uh in a faa approved flight school and 141 approved course all right so again here we go um it says a couple of differences here but 141 school can allow students to complete their training in fewer uh, fewer hours uh, see again you need fewer hours to fly maybe but more ground school hours so they say that it's few hours of flight training but more hours maybe on on your overhaul training um let's see for private pilot training the minimum flight training requirement reduced from 40 for training hours under 35 141 so this is like a five hours less uh, but not much because you know most students do not earn their certificate at the faa minimums this might not make much uh, difference exactly however subsequent courses can be completed significantly less time for commercial pilot training 141 student needs only 190 hours and, and uh, of aeronautical experience compared to 250 or part 61 student that's where the huge difference comes up all right so we got that one in make sure you always know i will always go for what part 141 that's the best thing ever ground ground school is great we hear what part 141 ground master 35 hour former ground school training part 61 so do not de need to receive minimum amount of ground training however the same topics must be learned the important in the students who spend more time studying and learning during ground school typically finish their flight training faster this is exactly what i was saying so they say people say oh you have to go to ground school I was like, yeah but if you learn your ground um, before you before you jump into a flight into a plane if you know your theory that's the best thing ever and yeah that's all i wanted to show you guys basically on uh, flight training and um let's see the requirement for a private pilot certificate it's a be at least 17 years old be able to speak and read uh, and understand english or pain at, obtain a third class medical certificate and um xp stream was almost seven hours ago oh my god yeah it took so forever all right the sport pilot knowledge test goes to the 41 multiple choice test uh, and the 60 multiple choice test uh, um this private pilots and i did this we that's what we're looking for 60 multiple choice questions very easy i'm telling you guys and you need to score at least 70 percent or better um most of high most of the flight training school they will uh, set their goal before they sit you on a ground on uh, on the faa exam written exam they will do an internal exam which is a mock-up test similar to the one and most of them they have a higher um score uh, requirement so for my school was uh, 90 percent or 85 percent i believe uh, so if you don't pass that exam you cannot sit to the faa written exam until you get three eighty five percent on a computer base first and then you go and sit for the exams mock exam and you have to get at least a ninety like a eighty five ninety percent yeah um here you go so the questions are here in the prep if you so check it out it's the glime here this is the glime okay that's the glime online ground school check it out if you have some money to spend uh, uh worth it uh, uh there's other flight school online ground schools that you can take but this is one the one i use i never had an issue with it um for private pilot certificate issue under 61 you must receive a minimum 40 hours flight time including okay 10 hours of solo there's more solo time on the, on the on part 61 um here we go and that's it that's all we need to know so let's uh, actually come back now we said we, we said we're going to talk about uh access and all that some so all that cute stuff here we go we're talking about access this is how a mock-up representation of our aircraft let's say this is our cessna 172 even though it doesn't look like a cessna 172 and we can immediately spot the four most important components okay 
So this is not the axis, sorry. This is the four components uh, that act on an airplane. On an airplane. So we got our first component that is the vertical component going upwards, and is the lift. Then we got the weight. Then we got the drag, and then we got the thrust. Okay. Um. Of course, then you get the relative wind and the flight path. The relative wind is the wind uh, is the angle which, uh, uh, um compared to your angle of attack so kind of like the angle in there um it's uh uh let's see your relative wind let's say you're flying like this your relative wind is like this this is your relative wind so the winds how how the how the winds are impacting your uh ang um your uh line the chain the basically your wings and uh we're gonna go through the whole parts uh, uh, in the next flight lesson very soon so um and then we got so we got the trust what is the trust trust is what makes you most people think trust makes you go faster but actually uh trust uh it's not only the thing that makes you go faster trust is also the thing Bazzesino, welcome aboard, my friend. Thank you for joining us. Grazie mille. Thank you so much, sir. Oh, Dylan17, who just came back again over here. Just subscribe. Welcome aboard, my friend. And uh, so we need to come have these uh, uh, picture these forces acting on a plane. So if you think about the lift, lift, it's uh, the amount of the... Uh, you always have lift. Even, even this pen, okay, sitting in, on my hand. It still has lift but the problem is the weight is higher than the lift so the the plane doesn't doesn't go the pen doesn't go up for example here okay so this is not zero lift this is a, a lift that is less greater than the weight the weight is higher um drag we, we can consider drag we have two type of drag induced drag and parasite drag um basically everything that is uh, um parasite drag uh, it's uh, a force that is a drag that is acting against your trust so against your movement so everything that can be um uh related to uh i don't know let's say landing gears or uh even the flaps or uh, little things that pops up the plane that are not exactly aer aerodynamic and uh, that is uh, what parasite drag exactly means uh then we got our lovely um our lovely induced drag induced drag is uh, induced exactly induced by the shape of the plane that's something we cannot get rid of it's something that uh every machine every machine it's not performing 100 percent. why because of the induced drag of friction you always have some kind of drag you always have uh, you never you can never achieve a, a machine performing at his 100 percent because it's impossible because of the drag okay you for the friction um every every time i move my hand i'm actually going against some kind of molecules and that's drag that's drag right there so a, and uh, that's uh, we call it the drag and then the weight we know what the weight is weight is a force acting perpendicular to the to to earth so basically it's not perpendicular to the to the aircraft so the aircraft can be like this it doesn't go like this it goes exactly like it shows here it goes 90 degrees towards your relative ground okay so and uh, there are components of course and uh, we can zoom in a little bit maybe it's easier for you guys to see and there's components of the weight and there's components uh, for also uh, our lift and everything you know um but uh, these are the most important things you need to know the trust uh, trust the trust factor weight drag and lift all right so um charlie checklist my morning is going so far it's very it's crappy weather out there here today we're getting Florida, we're in Florida. we're getting hit by a little tropical storm so um that's why i have to put act the sky back to a couple days before so we can have a, a little bit better weather uh we have we are i believe we are under tornado watch not under tornado warning uh 
tornado yeah tornado watch now so we'll see how the thing goes so hopefully we might we might get some connection issue we might have a power drop but for now it's good and uh, what is this point okay this is the point this is a very important point for every single pilot it's kind of the one of the most important points and that's your cg center of gravity what is the center of gravity the center of gravity is what we what we say we can say hypothetically where all the forces act is the result of uh, all where we can consider the point where all the forces act on a certain object so this is our center of gravity okay Connor Morris says I'm getting ready for who we are going to Dallas 6 all right man we're having some good weather over in uh, SoCal today man that's some some weather in there all right so this is what you need to know it's the CG that's your center of gravity that's where all these forces act let's say let's think let's take this okay let me see if I can the center of gravity is where basically all your forces are equal to none basically now this is a very imperfect example of it but uh, if you think about uh, I don't know a piece of paper I don't know let me see if this is probably better it's the point where you can basically hold the whole plane in one finger it's like a, a very where it's balanced so that's your center of gravity and that's why we plan after center uh after c up cg or uh rear cg is just a, a very important data we need to know now let's go move on to the next uh, uh lovely picture we got here today which is oh we had it which is the axis we go we can close this one and get the axis out here there we go and then we got this lovely picture and we go like what the heck is this it looks like a uh looks like a roller coaster ride here you know a gimbal it is freaking gimbal basically if you think about these are axes where the plate rotate um it's uh some people mistakes a lot of these axes okay so make sure you picture this very well what is your lateral axis your lateral axis is this one here the first picture and it's the one that acts over here on the elevator basically it makes you rotate around the lateral axis and makes you go up and down so let's see this is lateral axis up and down that's how you do up and down so you control your pitch movement in there and you can see exactly where um where the axis is acting here we go and then we have the longitudinal axis the longitudinal axis uh, is the axis that helps the plane to roll okay so let's say this is the axis and you roll left or right according to where you what your inputs are so and you can see over here too you got where it's rolling to and what's the axis okay so we already got two axes the last very important axis is the yaw the yawing it's uh thanks uh, happens thanks to the vertical axis so the movement happens around the vertical axis and it's the movement that helps you to that you use with your rudder okay when you use your rudder exactly that's what happened use this let me see there's another picture that probably might help you a lot here we go this one picture actually helps quite a bit um vertical axis uh, that's what we were talking about is acted by the uh, rudder and it gives you your movement directional stability so directional your heading and then you got the lateral axis longitudinal stability so up or down okay and it's and it's uh, activated by the elevator it gives you a pitch all right um then we got our lovely aileron aileron acting on uh, the longitudinal axis so it gives you a roll all right that's all we need to know basically about our lovely uh airplane uh for now uh we can actually quickly check a uh, couple of the things that we need to know <clears throat> of the of our little plane 
Let me see our... Uh, this is a POH. Again, remember, every aircraft has its own POH. That's your Bible. You need to learn the uh, this POH very well. Uh, again, let's uh, recap a little bit. IO360, L2A, what IO means is a normal aspirated uh, direct drive, uh, air-cooled, uh, horizontally opposed. Uh, fuel injector four cylinder engine with 360 cubic inches of display uh, cubic inch uh, inches in displace uh, cubic inches displacement sorry your engines run about the uh, horsepower rating is about 180 bhp running at 2700 rpm max we have a 76 speech uh 76 uh, di um uh propeller in diameter diameter and it has two blades uh made by uh the mcholy uh or hartzell depends on which two too um the engine is made by textron textron like coming and what fuel you use is the 100 ll aviation grade and how much fuel we have so this is uh very important to know to your total capacity 26 total usable 53 you have some unusable that you cannot use so 26.5 on each tank is usable the rest is not uh this is the type of uh, oil we will need a sigh okay and uh, um but then also some weights here 255 this number you will know once you start doing weight and balance you will start remembering this number 2558 ramp uh take off a landing 2550 so you have eight pounds to lose on your takeoff before you take off a uh, baggage area all these informations are important uh, VNE, and all these speeds are very important to know but um yeah that's it that's it that's it let's uh, jump in inside the cockpit very quickly so uh let's come back into our live seat here and here we go we are inside the cockpit again uh let's do a quick uh, tour uh, this is the flyer county airport in uh, flyer county florida on the east coast of florida we are running the weather of yesterday since the storm is already over here so we can't do much of your far flight with today's weather and we're gonna go ahead and do uh let me see the knee board and everything we're gonna do uh no that's the engine star oh here we go there's some references here you can take a look at um it's raining it's raining hard okay let's do uh mass and weight and balance quickly this is on kilogram let's do change unit in pounds uh, i don't know let's uh, front seat let's say uh 205 uh, and then my flight instruct my let's say I say I'm the flight instructor. So okay, let's say my student is uh, much skinnier than me, 170. Let's say 170, and then yeah, I'm like 205 around. That's the last time I checked. Yeah, <laughs> need to lose some weight, guys. Here we go, and then we go. On, let's say a rear seat. We have our flight bag. So let's add what 20 pounds uh, uh, on one side. Here we go let's do 10 and 10 10 pounds and 10 pounds um on the baggage area below we have 50 pounds of weight some flight school gives you they leave a weight in there that's a never leave if if you find a weight inside the plane never never take it off leave it there fuel tanks us gallon so we're gonna fill up the tanks uh, uh 27 so max 27 again 26.5 uh, we don't need that much uh, we can go with uh 15 and 15 here we go uh let me see g okay that sounds good 1700 empty weight to take off weight 2325 remember the weights that we were talking about 2550 is our uh, max takeoff weight and it's over here all right uh take off center gravity 41 so we are pretty good with our uh, uh weight of balance and cg arm everything is good and we can go ahead and apply this the applier think so yes i think it did so no here we go it did that again <laughs> so 15 and 15 and then 
apply there we go now we got that one in let's do a quick walk around check so pilot handbook uh, operate poh that's the pilot's hand operating uh, uh, book and the poh is nothing else than a book that looks like this every aircraft has its own usually it's in the um pocket beside uh, behind the passenger seat uh so um you can check behind your uh behind the not the passenger because that's both control system but behind your uh right seat okay right oh, i can't do it now but uh, right there there is a little handbook that you need to check if you case that you have any abnormality you can check in that poh that's your bible and also there's a checklist in there all right guys if you haven't joined us if you haven't joined if you join us right now make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and join us on discord too thought i had water in here i guess i don't there's enough water outside though that's for sure all right parking brakes is all uh we have the poh parking brakes make sure it's set uh, how you know that you push the pedals all the way down okay every time you this is not of course uh, you can't do it on the sim but you push the toe brakes okay you with your tips off your foot and then you pull that lever be underneath your leg behind like right underneath the the control and then you pull up towards you and then twist it uh and you will not have it like the looking you have to see it like this this is how it should be that's when your parkings are in parking uh brakes are in position avionic master switch make sure it's are off avionics are off ignition off a master switch can come on master switch can come off you indicate a quantity we say 15 and that's what we have 10 20 15 right in, in there uh master switch your flaps so we're gonna do flaps down o always go try to do this every time don't pull it down all the way down okay you want to go step by step now uh lights check we're gonna do a light check toggle all lights and let's do we do a light check okay so we have the strobe light on that is working the beacon light is on okay the navigation light the green light which says that it's always on your right side strobe light is on the landing gear and taxi lights are on the red uh navigation lights is on indicating that's the left wing and the strobe lights are on Toggle lights can come off and we can actually pre-flight okay master switch can oh okay they can off now next uh, we're gonna do fuel valve and check the fuel valve so i'm gonna take my checklist and we're gonna go to wow it's raining a lot folks it's like a there's a waterfall right next to me um Here's you my checklist i do use my checklist more fun for my flight school parking brake set fire extinguisher we check it's in between the two seats it's not model in here fuel selector make sure it's on both fuel shut off valve is pushed in elevator trim make sure it's set for takeoff and i think it's already set for takeoff yeah i think i believe so yeah mixture cut off that's the mixture all right throttle idle alternator static check it's pulled okay control lock it's removed the panel lights are all off uh positions are off we check this avionics are all battery master switch are on uh, we did a flap so we did exterior lights and pitot heat when we do the uh, when we do the exterior check we always check the pitot temperature too so basically we turn on the lights and we do the pitot heat on and then we're gonna go and briefly touch it quickly because it can be very hot okay give me one second i want to make sure that people know that i was because uh, i probably didn't announce it on my on my uh uh on my discord let me see um
Okay, give me a second. All right, give me one more second, folks. I just want to make sure that I have everything I need in here. Give me a second here. Where are we at? One. Go. There we go. Okay, we're good. No, sorry for that. So we're gonna. We said we're gonna check uh, the pitot heat and everything. L we check uh, um, when we do the battery check. Okay, let's go. We'll do it later, but now because I can't move from this position, so now we did this neutral trim controls. Okay, we're gonna do an exterior check. Let's do an exterior check. We always want to check the baggage. Okay. And I'm actually gonna do it now here. <clears throat> so uh, we're gonna check first thing first. So we're gonna check our uh, informations and everything. So the MP we're gonna check the baggage compartment and make sure that these objects are secure. Baggage doors closed and locked. You have a lock here. We make sure it's locked. Cap 140 static. Static is usually a. Uh, let me see. Uh, it's not in here, but there's a static port that is for the cap 140. We don't have a cap 140 on the plane That's why the cap 140 is a type of autopilot that we don't have. We have the G1000 autopilot external data plate uh, It's a plate metal tag plate that gives it information about the plate um, Not uh, Model in here unfortunately. So now we're gonna go to the elevator here all right, so we're gonna check a couple of things over the elevator. First of all, we're gonna uh, do counterweights. How to check the counterweights? Here we go. You see the counterweights there? These are the counterweights. Unfortunately, my again my um, uh, mouse it's off the click spot. Here we go. Here we go. That's the counterweights. So you want to make sure that they're there. Okay. Uh, now. There you go. These counterweights too. I don't know if you see it. There's counterweights inside. There we go. We got that one in. Freedom of movement and security lag looks pretty good. Okay. External uh, elevator. Securing bolts. Uh, basic securing bolts. You want to check that there's all the bolts in there that none of them are missing. The rivets too. Uh, low and high pitch stop. Static wicks and ground wire. Here we go. The static wicks. And there is a ground wire, but is we can't see it unfortunately from here. On it's modeled. I mean, it is there in the real life, uh, but you want to make sure that your ground wire is there too. Okay, trim and servo tab operation. So the trim and servo tab. That's that's the trim and servo tab. Okay. Let's see. We can empennage. That's basically you will see when you move this one up. Okay. This moves independently. That that thing moves independently. And if I can change, here we go. I'm changing now. You guys can see it that it's changing over here. Okay, this one. See, I'm changing the trim. That's the trim tab. Okay, that's something you want to know. That's one thing you want to check too. And we want to see that it moves with the plane or not okay now let's go and next we do the um, our uh vertical stabilizer so we're gonna check the um the rudder and everything so securing bolts again rudder return springs so basically this basically has to return back in place see that's the return spring it returned back in place it doesn't stay in the, in the same position now uh, static wicks again we're gonna check static wicks and ground wire and the trim tab the trim tab is the same thing we have a trim tab uh, see if I can here we go there's a trim tab on this plane too that's the fin that we need to remember okay this is a very important part of a plane <laughs> and the antennas we got the antennas over here they're all in good shape now come back here remove the tie down 
gonna check the emergency locator elt check for integrity looks good all right and then uh, we're gonna check the flaps so uh, we want to know we want to see how it moves it needs to be make sure that it's stuck in place but it still moves a little bit wobbles a little bit but it doesn't come down you want to make sure you don't want to pull it down with all your forces but you want to check do a little check again so this is going to be the first two times we're going to be doing this kind of test like this we're going to and then the, the, from the next flights we're going to go very fast on our on our initial checklist but the first two flights we want to make sure we follow every single rule now one thing i want to check why is this give me a second I'm trying to why the click spot is not, but it's fine, whatever. Um, maybe if I move uh, at this. Yeah, never mind. We'll 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 see what's going on with the click spot. Sorry about that remove the tie down okay so we're gonna check again right wing okay right antennas check the right wing we're gonna check the flap we did extension and roller condition the roller condition i'll show you once we get in the connecting rod and everything aileron we check the counterweights and we're gonna do that uh we're gonna check the fuel so this is how we check the fuel we can open this thing up and we check the fuel how much fuel we have visually and also there's a little instruments you can check all right and then uh, one thing we have to check also is the oil quantity so we have uh, around more more than a seven so that's fine you press that little thing you can see where like in a normal car you unscrew the thing there's a stick you check the oil stick uh the oil dip i think it's called and let's check if it's uh, within your limits which is uh, for us is a for us it's uh, six uh, and that's what flight schools wants it above six propeller and spinner check we're going to remove that and check everything inlets you want to make sure that bees or any other animals didn't nest in there and then we're going to check the propeller how you check the propeller basically make sure that the, it's nicely shaped nothing is uh, wrong with it and you want to make sure there's no chips Okay, we're gonna check the wheel status and the struts so uh, uh let me exactly come up and say as nose you want to check the cabin air inlet which is this one the oil engine oil quantity that's what we checked before on the other side uh, fuel sump there's a fuel sums here you want to do a fuel sums underneath the carriage you will see some holes where you put the sump of the fuel and check if there's no contamination of fuel nose gear you want to check the tire condition the cutter pins that we are uh, usually here there are some pins that you will need to check every time uh, air oil starts condition so that's the air oil start condition and the shimmy dumper is this little thing that is here usually and it prevents from wobbling so it prevents the wheel to wobble like like this Let's keep it straight okay the shimmy dumper and the steering roads and uh, that's all you need to know that's it make sure that it's all correct um, engine callings and inlets are checked alternator belt we checked it before propeller and spinner air filter static source clear the static source I will show you external power access secure we don't have one upper calling uh, lower calling uh, calling both screws uh, screws are all in there we go and jump into the next side if you guys have any question you can stop me anytime and ask me for questions okay curiosity regarding this anything about flight training you can ask me anything even if it's not related to this lesson you can just can ask me okay left wing air inlets so we're gonna check the air inlets this is the air inlets here one leading edge we're gonna check the whole leading edge of the wing okay and we do also the same thing on the other side pitot tube this is when we check the pitot tube we're going to check the fuel also check the fuel and make sure that everything is correct so again if you sump some sump some fuel before we can drop it back in and check visually check the fuel um pitot tube cover we remove the pitot tube cover um and then this is, we check the whole thing in here okay stall warning vein this is the stall warning vein and make sure that's very important over here i don't know if you guys can see it um there you go stall warning vein that's very important to know all right 
that's uh, something uh, it basically gives you it helps <laughs> it gives you the notice when it notifies you when you're stalling that's wind tip and light shield we don't have wind tips the light shield those landing lights are on and correct tie down removed uh let me see if it shows up somehow all right we're gonna check the aileron again uh we go check aileron there we go security we check the security ball the counterweights uh let me see if i can go over here and give you show you the counterweights so the counterweights are over here you guys can see it there's a counterweights here that i installed you need to make sure that they're there actually um i might be i might be lying no that's good yeah, yeah those are correct here we go we are good in here <clears throat> and we check the static wicks too uh connecting rod okay flap sick okay extension is secure we want to make sure that it's secure here we go connecting rod okay and then underwing inspection panel so we're going to check underneath the wing up and check the inspection all the inspections panel are installed here we go um what else do we have to do brake assembly cutter pin okay underwing inspection tire condition uh we're gonna check the tire condition the cutter pin uh so there's a pin that we need make sure it's in there brake assembly want to make sure that the brake in there doesn't have anything weird um it's not rusty and make sure it's functional they're gonna check the studs too in here and check there's no cracks or anything so you're not gonna lose the landing gear um fuel cup okay view fuel sums we put it back we do the fuel sums on this side of the wing and then that's it we are done we uh, remove the chocks and uh, come back in i don't know why they put us here now okay so let me see if i can show you the everything here that we need to know this is a connecting rod okay we you want to twist it a little bit and make sure that it's twisting and make sure that it has uh, some uh, lubric lubrication in it uh, but it's not it don't it doesn't you don't want it to be too soft too um to you know, it moves too much it has to twist a little bit and then we got our um the what you call them the roller conditions we want to make sure that these rollers are good that's what we when we do that uh these are the inspection panel and there's the fuel sums are right here there's one two three four there's five okay and there's a each under each under the wing there's a one okay the only thing that is missing which is upsetting me it there is no um what's it called the uh fuel vent the fuel vent is another thing coming up down here it looks like a little p2 tube but it's much smaller um AMA Boeing MD or Airbus uh Airbus in my opinion that's uh, that's the future <laughs> Boeing is messing it up right now <laughs> all right so we get that one in uh, before starting checklist the aircraft sets and check prefix inspection complete uh, briefing a uh, safety passenger briefing seat belt air vents fire extinguisher emergency exit procedure survival and traffic watch it's very important you have to brief that every time you have a passenger so you better start simulating that even during your flight training Crew briefing, airport diagram. We do have our lovely airport diagram in here. Unfortunately, this plane doesn't have an integration of uh, the avatar because it comes come very handy though. Uh, oh, not back. Oops, that was right. I think it was under charts. VFR. Give that one in like that. Um, now airports uh, and then. Uh, Okay, Finn. There we go. Airport. Airport information. That's what we know. We want to know. We want to have that information here. Winds are calm right here. We're going to double check in a second. And the takeoff distance calculation. We're going to go through the takeoff distance calculation. Uh, in, uh, in uh, the next lessons when we were going to do start doing the actual weight and balance sheet uh, sheet 
uh psc control who has psc on psc and uh, acting psc uh designation we're gonna do you stare at cockpit from now save attitude at adm and due back time is applicable departure briefing yes space awareness we have a class charlie of daytona um and uh, uh but we're not gonna go into it uh, obstacles on departure no there are a couple of trees that we need to keep an eye on Wake turbulence avoidance if we land uh, if we take off uh, after uh, a plane um we're gonna if we're gonna take off after a plane that is heavier than us uh, we're gonna have to lift off before the lift uh, lift up lift off zone if we're gonna land after an aircraft uh, that is heavier than us we're gonna have to land after the touchdown zone okay after the place where they touch down to avoid the wake turbulence because remember the whole thing sinks before okay so when you take off it sinks so if you're gonna take off uh, after the after in distance you know later than the other guy that took off before you that is heavier you want to get all that uh massive wake turbulence coming down on you and that will not let you take off folks that's nothing it's nothing you need to that's no joke uh, the chat has been well there's no need to uh, there's no need to specify that people people are listening here probably so <laughs> charlie chaclis you have to be a mod and not a uh, let me to be let me be the judge for that <laughs> uh don't need to because all every message you put in comes up in chat you know comes out on the stream so make sure we, we do we, we make positive comments and not negative comments like an Let's keep the spirits up. Come on, guys. All right. So seat and seat belt secure and fastened. Doors are locked and latched. The latch are closed. A few selector. Make sure they're both in both. Uh, uh, they're in both position. Few selector valve pushed in and it's pushed in. This red little thing here. Um, sorry, the the click point is not as great. Um now uh very okay make sure throttles okay cut off uh, we're gonna throttle a quarter inch that's a quarter inch in there a very master switch can come uh is off uh, uh battery master alternator can come on i think now very master switch everything is off beacon lights can come on beacon light can come on there we go nav lights as required we're gonna keep it on for now a circuit breakers uh, checked everything is pushed in we, i always do with the hands check i put my hands in there and check if everything is pushed in and uh, uh propeller area visually clear no one around me um we're gonna call it standby battery test for 10 seconds and then arm so here's a test thousand one thousand two thousand three thousand four thousand five thousand six thousand seven thousand eight thousand nine ten arm all right okay we got this one on uh, engine indicating we check and uh, no red access that is good e-bus e bus e -bus, minimum 24 electrical e-bus you can see it down here electrical 24 5 uh, and then uh, that's the e-bus and then we're gonna check the battery s uh okay we're gonna check this uh the amps there's a discharge the m bus uh, volts uh, we want to check is 1.5 or less uh, and that's correct uh standby s and then standby battery power annunciator is on uh this is not something that is modeled battery battery master switch battery and alternator can come on here we go they're both on m bus volts minimum 24 volts uh, here we go the m bus now is minimum 24 <laughs> and uh all right that we're gonna check I'm not gonna do a hot engine start even though the temperature is not that hot now i'm gonna do a known uh, uh we're gonna do a quick uh, actually cold engine start so cold engine start um throttle advance halfway here we go fuel pump goes on uh here we go Steam. fuel pump on and you hear the fuel pump rising up uh here we go and then we do the mixture full rich three five seconds and then cut off 
1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 
124770. We're going to make sure we contact him. We're going to set the frequency though, first of all, on our lovely ATIS. But then we're going to go call 122. So there's a, we're going to check this first. 122, that's the 00. That's not the eighties frequency from here. It's the eighties frequency right at the sky. Kilo Oxtra, India, November airport information. Mike one seven five zero. Zulu weather wind calm visibility seven sky clear temperature two three two point one six altimeter two niner niner five. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Mike. Kilo Oxtra, India, November, airport information, Mike, 1750, Zulu, weather, wind, calm, visibility, 7, sky clear, temperature, 2, 3, 2.16, 2 altimeter, 2, niner, niner, 5, advise on initial contact, you have information, Mike. Mm -hmm. Kilo Oxtra, India, November, airport information, Mike, 1750, Zulu, weather, wind, calm, visibility, 7, sky clear, temperature, 2, 3, 2.16, 2 altimeter, 2, niner, niner, 5, advise on initial contact, you have information, Mike. Okay, we have information, Mike, and now, let me put the flight plan. November airport information Mike 1750 Zulu weather wind calm visibility 7 sky clear temperature 2 3 2.16 2 altimeter 2 niner niner 5 advise on initial contact you have information Mike okay let's set the flight plan India, November, airport information, Mike, 1750, Zulu, weather, wind, calm, visibility, 7, sky clear, temperature, 2, 3, 2.16, 2 altimeter, 2, niner, niner, 5, advise on initial contact, you have information, Mike. Okay, so we got that flight plan in, now let's change the frequency, Kilo. 122 decimal 8 is the Unicom. And we'll also have Jacksonville Center on. Skyhawk Pro Flight Gaming, welcome aboard, my friend. Welcome, welcome. What's up? What's up to you, sir? Uh, ATC, we're going to check ATC. Uh, it's a 124770. 124770. So that's that. 124770775. There you go. So first thing uh, first, we're gonna contact ground and say in uh, Flagler County, say Flagler County, uh, Flagler County Airport, uh, Flagler County App. Let's re roll back. Flagler ground, good evening, uh, November Alpha Victor One Zero. We do information, Mike uh, at the ramp. Uh, uh, we'd like to taxi to the run up area, and uh, he's gonna give us uh, some read back, uh, some instructions. So taxi to runway. 1-1 one, one, via Foxtrot and uh, so we okay taxi to runway 1 by 1-1 uh, via Foxtrot uh, November Alpha Victor 1-0 there you go so we got we got that information in uh, so you said runway 1-1 one, one. we actually gonna make a little call and make sure because it's a control airspace Jackson Center, good evening, and November Alpha Victor 1 0 with you at the Jacksonville, uh, uh, sorry, at the Flagler County Airport. Uh, we have inf local information and uh, we'd like to do a traffic pattern work. I don't know if I have to contact you or not. How do you get the charts using only Avatab? Uh, you basically have to down uh, have a ha you need to have a subscription with uh, Navigraph. Sorry, not at Jacksonville. We are at Flagler County Airport, and it's November Alpha Victor One Zero. Uh, 
Alright, so it's 9619 Ace, if you can uh, change to uh, Unicom now, good day. Um, November Alpha Victor 10. Where is your location again? Kilo Foxtrot India November? A firm, Kilo Foxtrot India November, that's it. We'll do, and we'll also have to keep it VFR. We might have departed traffic uh, pattern to do some maneuvers on near the lake. Uh, so, but we we'll call you back when they're ready to taxi. November Alpha Victor one zero. Uh, Roger that. All right, so we got that one in uh, two nine and nine is six. The altimeter setting. We're gonna have to follow our altimeter setting, not what. Uh, the weather from Vatsim says because we are running 99 to 5. All right, guys, if you haven't done so far, let's hit the like and subscribe button and join us on Discord. Okay, so we get that information. So we got the 80s uh, flight instruments check. Okay, <laughs> okay, then 30 uh, PFD standby altimeter setting. We do have the standby 2995. We're gonna have to put 2995 in here around right there. Make sure that is uh, exact, kind of like uh, within the 50 feet uh, from your uh, elevation, which is 33 feet, and we are well inside that limit. Uh, traffic pattern altitude is a thousand feet, so I like to keep it a, a thousand there here. We're gonna do a one couple touch and goes. Okay. <clears throat> uh, we do a little check LRA studios. We cannot check the LRU status and the GPS one in the RAM status because the G1000 here doesn't model it yet. Lights, so we're gonna check taxi lights. Come, come on. Parking brake release in a second. Jackson Center, November Alpha Victor 1 0. We are ready to taxi. November Alpha Victor 1 0. Um, runway 1 1, taxi via Bravo Alpha. Altimeter uh, 2988. Roger, taxi via Bravo and Alpha uh, to runway 1 1. Uh, November Alpha Victor 1 0. Alpha. Bravo. I'm not sure if he has the right one. Runway 1 1. This is Alpha. Okay. And that's a Foxtrot. Whatever. I know I know the app would probably because he probably might not have the right charts. Alright, brake check. We're gonna do a little brake check. My brakes are fine. Let's do the FO check. Turn right heading two three zero. All right, left and right is clear. Is the sounds coming up good or I need to increase the sounds or something? Uh, last aircraft calling, say again. Let's see, let's increase the audio. Alright, nine sixty three Jackson Center, good morning, squawk three four one zero. Okay, that's where we're going. Delta twenty twenty nine, turn left heading one three zero, join the uh, one runway one six localizer.
so what we're gonna do now we're gonna set our plane off Thank you, you are ready to contact 63 miles southeast of Myrtle Beach, flight of 340. Welcome aboard. All right, so we do that. Uh, Rocco said, "Hey, I was uh, I wasn't offline for a long time because I have exam. I have exam for my school before flight academy in two weeks, and the tests are over, and I'll be a lot more active. Also, welcome back. Welcome back, my friend. I'm glad to have you back." All right, Ed, you run up parking. Parking brakes. Flight controls free and correct. All right, and then we're gonna check also. Here we go, free and correct. That is good. Now flight controls are correct. Uh, uh, free, free and correct uh, for uh, PFD MFD. We check for row, no red X and we have no red X's. What's 1346 in your location? Autopilot. We're not gonna use the autopilot uh, uh, electric stream test. Uh, gonna check and is working. Awesome. Up and down. Good. What's 1340? Uh, Fuse selector. Fuse selector in both. Uh, engine check is gonna be a full rich now. And we're gonna do 1800 RPM. Uh, it's coming 5x5. Five five. 1800. Keep it a bit like that. That's fine. Okay, 1800. Manitos check. Uh, we're gonna do a Manitos check. Okay, one left Manito check is good. We need to have a drop or not more than 150. Okay, between 50 and 150. Now they're both and check the right Manito. And we want to hear also the engine roughness if it sounds rough or not. Okay, that's when we know we have a, a bad plug. Zero six zero at one zero gust one six running one six cleared to land number two following uh engine the A three fifty on a three mile final you'll be seven miles behind him. Okay, engine indications everything is correct. Uh, tab of vacuum indicator is uh, uh, everything is good. Let me see everything where uh, we got these instruments are good. Vacuum indicator is in the green and meters are 2728. Okay, we're good. Throttle idle check. We're gonna check the throttle and idle. We should get a message soon. Low vacuum. Here we go. Make sure, all right. Back to thousand and the mixture lean again. That's right. All right. After engine check, the CDI soft key. We're gonna check the CDI soft key here. Whoop. VR switching good. Transponder set on ground. Uh, we uh timer okay. We're good. Transponder. Yeah. VFR. Soon, actually, so oh shit! Sorry about that. I press the I then. Departure briefing, okay. Yeah. Good morning. Southwest five three one Jackson Center. Good morning, climbing team. Level three six zero. Three six zero and Jackson 10 10 November Alpha Victor 10 10 10 10 10 1 ready for departure November Alpha Victor 10 make left close traffic runway 1 1 cleared for takeoff left close traffic uh, runway 1 1 cleared for takeoff November Alpha Victor 10 all right we got that one in landing lights can come on strobes we're gonna check no traffic on final that's important no traffic in here on the runway. Uh, West 1340 verify VFR. Uh, are you, you wanting to enter the VFR pattern or you want vectors for uh, IFR approaches while maintaining VFR? Okay, we're gonna do something very important now, folks. Uh, and uh, all right. So, uh, 1340, please be advised, I am closing in about 
three minutes. I do, I do apologize, but uh, I do have to leave. Um, I can give you, uh, you know what, I'll give you a vector because I feel bad. I turn left hitting 030 and the squawk 3604. Alright, so let's see. Let's do a, a takeoff. Here we go. Oh, what we have. Oh, reject takeoff. That's how we do. Immediate apply break. So what you're going to do, that's exactly one thing you're going to have to practice when you take off, folks. Now go and apply full power. There's one thing that your instructor will always do when you take off. He's going to suddenly apply the brakes. Okay. Oh. Okay, rotate. Um, American seven forty one. I'll be logging off soon. Money to come on to two point eight. Okay, we're climbing now. Delta twenty twenty nine. Uh, you can vacate right when able, then taxi uh, Delta Papa to the ramp when you vacate. We're gonna do a couple of touch and goes. Okay, we passed over I 95 uh, over there. 500 feet, 700, we're going to start our turn. Here we go. I'm going to roll out, kind of see the situation. Yeah, here we go. And then... Um, Delta Papa to the ramp. Follow the company. All aircraft on frequency. Jacksonville Center is now closing. Time uh, one five two two zero. No for ATC available. I'm on you to come one two two point. Have a great day, everyone. Nice. Uh, ATC zero. Everybody Have a good day. Yeah, have a good day, so there's nothing to do for. Yep. Alright, 1 to 2 decimal 8. Okay, 2300 on RPM. We want to still stay at 1000 uh, feet. That's our traffic pattern altitude. Once we cross the threshold, we're going to drop to 1700. And which is. Uh, oh, we passed it. Here we go. Frank County uh, traffic, uh, White Skyhawk uh, on the left downwind for runway 11. Okay, once we hit that little marker there. Can it first notch your flap? Let's make it. All right, keep it seventeen hundred. Don't let that. Don't let this plane fly you. You have to fly the plane. So, got it. Level the wings. Okay, go ahead. Another notch your flap. Seventeen hundred RPM. Keep it like that. All right. And we can start our Flagler County Airport uh, traffic, uh, white and black Skyhawk uh, on final runway 11, uh, Clary County. There you go, we're a bit high. The visibility really sucks. Now we can back it back at 1500, we can reduce the power a little bit more. Here we go, full flaps. We got a runway inside. So we want to make sure that we have pushed the controls when we put the flaps, push it. Because uh, that
that player will try to climb okay so we're looking for flops down and six between 60 and 70 okay that's our ref how smooth this plane is coming down keep it at 15 usually what i realize is 15 that's what we want to keep 15 and 16 gives you a good uh stable approach 50 rpm we're talking about rpm okay all right now above the threshold gonna do cut the power out let the plane flow down the runway and then right there we're gonna start pitching up and we want to hear perfect landing by handbook flaps up <clears throat> Fifth, we pass that road hey <laughs> 55 there we go beautiful 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 check the runway behind so we want to make sure that we are aligned with the heading and then the runway we're going to be departing now the airport flyer county airport uh, white and black sky hawk uh, departing the traffic uh, to the west to the east uh, flyer county airport okay it's 500 feet uh, we can start to depart the traffic let's depart it to he's a left traffic before so we're gonna depart it to the left oh that cop is going damn fast everything is on everything is good we're good over here so we're gonna keep a thousand feet one thing i'm gonna have to do is reduce the x-plane fog because even though there's no clouds it's very foggy so basically we're gonna follow a1 a 100 that's the road 100 okay 2500 uh, on the climb Keep a nice climb but so we're climbing at around a set we're doing a, basically a cruise climb now we're gonna be uh at 75 between 75 and 85 knots Twenty-five rpm this plane is climbing it's nicely that's all we want you trim a little bit maybe i will have to climb all right folks uh, we are now about to reach our 3000 feet altitude so a couple of things we want to do let's uh, give us a turning climb okay so we're climbing and let's do a turn climb so here we go keep it nice and shallow nothing too crazy here we go see how the airspeed drops see how the airspeed drops because you're losing some of that components okay increasing your drag and everything that's uh okay we got the airport in there and remember 90 percent outside 10 percent inside okay performing a cruise climb at 2500 rpm uh 20 the, actually max power set to 2450 uh you will notice we're gonna have to uh, lean at about 3000 that's what i usually lean when i'm 3000 feet i do my leaning procedure so we're gonna lean the mixture and everything uh 
Okay, looking out for traffic always. There we go, 3000. Pitch down. Power to 23. Trim it. And then we we'll lean the mixture a little bit too. All right, here we go. We are slowly catching up with our speed with a. Uh, our speed uh, sorry with our altitude we want to keep it at 3000 so let's adjust a little bit and we said we wanted to depart to the left to to the to the east uh sorry departing to the west well we departed to the east and then we turned left <laughs> we west so let's go west now And so I have a setup at adding westerly adding. Okay, double check every time the horizon and everything. There we go. And there uh, we, we are on the rollout, guys. I think the plane is trying to climb a little bit. No, it's pretty good, actually. Minimal corrections every once in a while. The plane usually tends to stabilize itself. See, it goes up and down. It keeps one position. So don't overreact. When it's climbing a little bit, let it settle down. It might come back by itself. If otherwise, you'll be doing this the whole time. Up and down, up and down. And trust me, if you're doing, if you're doing cross country flight, that's going to be painful. All right, so we are. We want to go to our. Uh, let's see. Pull up the charts. Uh, Avitab, where are you, my friend? Maps. Uh, and I want to change it to uh, the other map we have. Uh, I believe it's the Geo TSS VFR uh, Jacksonville sectional. Always fly with the sectional on board. That's uh, much helpful. So we are going. We're going to Crest, uh, Crescent Lake. Uh, let's go instead to uh, Lake Distan. Okay. So let's turn towards Lake Distan. There we go. Surface to four thousand. Our <laughs> coach and high volume of flight training. Lake Distan. So okay. Let me go. Let's see. If we see any lakes? So, but we see a lake up there. You can see there's a lake there. Uh, now we'll see if we can see the other lake. Unfortunately, the X plane's fog it's not helping us today. Okay, so that's Lake Distant. Okay, so basically, right next to it, you'll be able to find. Uh, uh, we'll be able to find the other lake. <laughs> and I believe that's Lake Distant. I want to say, yeah, a little lake. Yeah, that's Lake Distant right here. Let's see and go above Lake Distant. Okay. So today we're going to apply also of, um, try the gliding performance of this. What is our gliding performance? Well, the gliding performance is basically if, um, an, um, an airspeed we want to keep at all time 
when we have an engine failure it's basically a blue line that shows up that's the on on uh, multi-engine aircraft you'll be able to see it's a blue line okay that will show up every single time it's there uh to your convenience uh, it will help you on uh, on that but leg distance should be right there there we go so if we keep it 62 knots we'll be able to climb okay anytime all right let's do some ground reference maneuvers let let's get down uh, uh to 2000 uh, feet okay and let's do some ground reference maneuvers just the power for the descent this is a good road here we got that we can actually follow because this road goes all the way to that side um i believe uh, that's uh, either it's not us one but it's one of the main road you use to go to orlando when you don't want to go to i4 uh let me do this cute thing otherwise it's impossible it's better oh see some maneuvers over here hmm okay so let me double check a couple of things here on the checklist if i do have that checklist i will perform it so we are over lake distant now okay so let's climb back at to 2000 feet every time you climb make sure you have uh, your own full power okay make sure it's uh, full Okay, we go that's lake distant right here it's very important to actually see uh the waves in uh, uh in real life because uh, that gives you an indication of what are the what are the winds from captain hope welcome aboard my friend okay let's back back it up to 2300 You just departed Haneda. Awesome, awesome. Keep it at 2300 RPM. 2324, that's fine. Alright, we can do some... Uh, uh, we, we can do some uh, turns over here. And we'll practice uh, a couple of... Uh, uh, 
procedural turn so we take this road okay we, it's kind of 90 degrees once we cross we know where the winds are coming from okay do we do we don't let me see uh back let's see inside the me transponder but one way to notice is uh checking the uh the waves so by looking at the waves looks like it's coming from that direction there so we're gonna start our turn remember the winds will start pushing towards uh our line so we said we know we want to keep that road so we don't want to go very sharp on that on this turn we want to be nice and smooth and again we lost some altitude we're going to regain it back see this is exactly what happened when you do it too late kind of like you want to make sure that you cross this road 90 degrees perpendicular right on that road let's give it a climb up a little bit more we'll try this again from this side climb it okay now we pass that road since we are going against that wind now okay we need to apply more steeper bank and act on the controls okay we want to act on the controls make sure that we keep that straight and level flight keep the same picture out look outside and keep the same picture outside don't want to go that's the don't look at the instruments okay so we back in track we should be able to cross that road at a 90 degrees angle now and yeah that's 90 degrees there kind of more or less that's good enough so i like to keep maybe the heading buck like this 084 that will help all right so now again we're gonna start our turn again here make sure we are we are getting pushed in towards that road now because the winds are going to push us so we don't need to go as steep as before we still want to go into a turn but we don't need to have a much steep okay turn rate of turn in fact i went already st steep enough now that i think i'm almost gonna cross the road uh, after let me see roll back at the heading here we go actually no that's pretty 90 degrees that's there now again since we just passed the road this time the, the wind's gonna start pushing us away from that road it's coming from, remember it's coming from that direction behind us so it's gonna push us away i don't want to go over 45 though There we go, roll out. And here we go, that road is right there. Now, again, we start our turn. We may wait a couple of seconds before we start it, because uh, we're going to have to pass it. Don't need to be aggressive on this turn. See, when you are into the wind, don't be aggressive uh don't be aggressive because the wind's gonna start pushing it and you're gonna be end up turning too early okay because the road is coming up again let's see if we can do a rollout right there on time Ooh, we're cutting close here we go rolling out right on that neat one more turn quickly now we turned because we winds are going to be pushing us away and this time we're going to be uh, not too steep we're going to go a little bit steeper okay again make sure you keep your airspeed though okay that's very important now you see the picture is already changing because the we were descending now we're back in track and we should be rolling out right on top of that road. Let me see. 
Oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> that road change. Yep, there we go. That's how you do what we call them. Um, we call it, well, they can be also called um, um, S turns, not S turns, but let's say we call them uh, ground reference. These are ground reference maneuver. But let's get a little bit closer, okay, to the ground. Let's get down to 1,000 feet. And let's pick up a point on the ground. Okay, let's go a thousand feet. I'll put a marker to a thousand. And let's see, select something on the ground that we can see clearly. All right, keep it, not go too fast. Let's pull up something and see something that is very particular. That, for example, that one. And we can try to do a turn around a point. So basically, we will have we want to keep the same distance from that aircraft from that uh, objects and then keep the same altitude okay so we can try that now let me see if we can approach that and see you got to do uh you got to grow do ground reference maneuvers in florida <laughs> And it's the best place to do ground reference maneuvers with all these small little lakes that pops up every once in a while. I'm getting a bit fast. Let's keep it at 2300 since we're descending. Let's see if we can still spot that little thing. Where did we spot it? Right there, I see it. Twenty three hundred. I saw it before. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Twenty three hundred. Keep it a crime actually i want to get into the wind okay so i want to do this into the wind so let's do this into the wind okay so basically coming the other way let's do a traffic pattern this is very useful uh, especially like say you have to over like uh, you have to do a holding over a certain object maybe a distressed aircraft or anything so that's very useful because you want to keep focus on that ground without climbing or descending. Um, trim the aircraft very well so we don't get any trouble here. QFA7879 is still on its way from JFK to Sydney. Holy cow. Right, guys if you haven't done it so far yeah let's hit the like and subscribe button when on uh, and join us on discord i think it's right there i can see it Slip and indicator, slip and slide indicator. Make sure we always performing a nice turn. There we go. I see that little lakey thing over there. Let's do a turn around a point. Get some more space.
keep an eye on the object the whole time and make sure you're not climbing or descending so constantly look ahead and then call see this is how you want to keep you want to you know this is what keeps you from climbing and descending so keep that same angle between your engine cowling and the horizon so the nice there we go that's what we want oh we lost it for a second here we go You can see how the winds are pushing you away. It's very clear how we did that turn before. And so what you need to do is to compensate that. You need to do a steeper angle, a steeper turn. So let's do this again one more time and do maybe a little bit better. Get some spacing a little bit more. Okay. When we pass it 45 degrees, a beam of it, we start our turn. There you go. You want to have it right here. Perfect. That is what we want the whole time. Kind of want to get the concourse. Always keep an eye on that object. So you want to see. ADS Burger, welcome aboard, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Here we go. So, we're doing a perfect turnaround of point, as you guys can see. Oh. Oh. No, it's not a group flight. It's uh, actually a lesson. It's a flight academy. We always want to keep the same distance between your wingtip and the object we want to have it center see how we stayed at a thousand feet the whole time by looking outside keep the same altitude keep the same wing distance and that's the object we're following that lake oh no see that's when you move too much a little bit got distracted there here we go that's beautiful 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 See how our, our speed stayed constant too. Everything is good. All right, so let's depart this. We did a one round already. Let's go and climb three thousand. Spec life, welcome aboard, my friend. Thank you for joining us. Thousand, three thousand feet. Okay, we're gonna be departing. Let's do some. Uh, uh, All right, let's do let's let's see how we enter a traffic pattern on uh, an airfield that we don't know. Okay, so let's say we want to go to the land. The land is not far away. What time is it, by the way? Eleven fifty-six. So. Good. All right, let's see. Have a tab. Let's pull up this. We are right over here. Let's fly over to Lake Distant now. Okay, so we're departing towards Lake Distant.
1197575 the A was Let's see if we can get them Okay, it looks like the A was is not <laughs> One one nine five seven five. Okay. So. Okay, so we are over here. Okay, so now we know we are over Lake Distant. We know we don't want to bust into the class Charlie airspace. Okay. So this is our <laughs> the Daytona Beach International Class Bravo uh, Class Charlie airspace. Uh, you can see when this Class Charlie starts. It starts at a thousand two hundred feet and it goes all the way up to four thousand feet. So we are running three thousand. So we don't want to bust into their airspace. We're gonna keep an eye on that, okay? And uh, approximately, we know if you keep an adding uh, like this, so we should get into the land very soon. Uh, things that we need to consider in between. Uh, that's how this is a VFR chart, by the way. Um, a sectional chart, we call it. All right, so we have uh, a couple of towers there and cranes. There's a, the towers over here. A um, couple of lakes in here. Uh, the land is right here. So. Let's pull up the charts for the land too. Oh, 3,000 we said, so we're gonna stay at 3,000. Bring it back to 2,300. Unicorn 1, 2, 3, 7, 5. Uh, let me keep that one up. Uh, <clears throat> airport airport diagram all we need to know is the airport diagram on a vfr fly we don't need any instrument or approach anything that is good runway one two runway three zero so we're gonna make a call and see what are the winds over the land in the awas basically when you tweet tune into the awas it will give you uh the Benitez message. It's not exactly a message. It's a uh, it's an AWOS. Okay, it's different. It's not, it's a little bit tiny bit different. There you go. Keep your power twenty three hundred. Check the fuel. We are good in fuel. Let me see and uh, check uh, exactly what we looking for. We're looking for um yeah. K dad meter. K dad meter. <laughs> all right so well right now we cannot fly into the land because it's uh <laughs> it's that's the weather for, we need to check the weather from yesterday oh we cannot oof never mind we cannot check because this is the weather from yesterday <laughs> if we have real real weather would it be a problem So again, we're gonna check how the weather is looking like over here. How we check that? Check the trees. Check, see how the trees are moving. Of course, explain 11 doesn't show you how the trees are moving, but we can check a lake and see the waves. No, check the waves and see. So we know we are departing a bit too much over there. We're gonna stay towards the land. One thing is never overfly certain airports. The land is an airport you don't wanna overfly. Because extensive parachute and flight training operation of all flight over the airport during parachute operations. And let me see, nearest, uh, how far are we from? Uh, uh, we're eight miles. Eight miles, okay.
Back to 2300. Okay, keep to 2300. Perfect. We are nice and level flight. Is Unicom a real life frequency? No, it's not. Unicom, uh, every. This is the Unicom for this airport. 123075, the CTAF. Every airport, every airport has its own Unicom. Um, what we do have is uh, uh, when you do flight training, you will notice we'll have. Uh, the um traffic area how's it called uh, um we have the traffic area unicom it's basically a unicom exp um uh, who's calling me holy cow what is this a second No idea what this is, but it's okay. Alright, alright. Sorry about that. Pilot deviation. Uh, but you... Um, we do have uh, the practice area frequency. So, South Practice Area near New, New, near New Zealand Marina Beach has a frequency. And everyone uh, in that area connects to that. Okay, so we should have the land in sight. All right, so this is the land, and there's a runway one two. I believe is that one, yes. So we're gonna make a call on Unicom and says, and see if there's anyone in traffic. The land traffic, uh, November Alpha Victor one zero. Uh, we are. Five miles uh, north uh, west of the field. Uh, f any traffic advisories? There's no one is there's no if no one is replying, that means there's no one in the traffic pattern. So we're gonna start a traffic pattern here. Uh, for the land, uh, we're gonna do a, a left hand traffic pattern runway one two. Okay. So again, we're going to check the wind, see how the winds are flowing. So runway 1-2 is the best idea. Now, and the land traffic, uh, white and black uh, Skyhawk uh, at 2,500 feet descending. 1,000 for left traffic 1-2. Uh, uh, to again, descend. Keep an eye every time on the... Uh, on the airport you want to know what's going on in this airport it's an unknown airport you don't know anything you don't know if there's any traffic following you don't know if there's traffic that is not communicating so always keep an eye on that that's very important uncontrolled aircraft can be very very freaking dangerous the land is an uncontrolled airport so captain geo welcome aboard my friend and hi welcome aboard my friend what's up avio man yeah i'm pretty good sir here we go we got runway one two over there I believe that's runway one two. Yes. Uh so we should not We should take it not runway one two, I believe. This is again runway one two is this one, so we're gonna take runway three zero. I'm gonna descend a thousand feet. land traffic uh, white and black skyhawk november alpha victor one zero on the left downwind for runway three zero left runway three zero the land traffic okay make sure props full forward everything is good Actually, make sure not props. Make sure full forward, throttle full forward, not full forward. Throttle adjust a little bit, maybe a thousand RPM. We want to keep that. Uh, sorry, two thousand RPM. We're gonna keep at twenty three hundred once we level off. There we go. Here we go. Twenty three hundred RPM. Ghost Rider 115, welcome aboard, sir. And Clay, Mr. Clay, welcome aboard. Hello, I just ran out of my Navigraph subscription. 
and I was wondering if it was there any free way to get updated a rack no unfortunately there's no free way to get the updated a rack but you can get free charts they're not navigraph charts there are free charts you can use from uh, the uh, your from the FAA the FAA has free charts available you have to download them though all right, we are right across the a beam, the f thing over there. So power to seventeen hundred. The, the altitude, so we can lose the speed a little bit. Okay, that's good enough. Flaps one, and we're gonna start our turn. The land traffic, a white and black sky, hard no Alpha Victor one zero on the left. Uh, base uh, for runway three zero delay traffic seventeen hundred want to keep again let the plane fly not let don't let the plane fly you let's hit three zero zero oh that's too much here we go keep an eye on the traffic there all right the notch of flap and then we start turning our final the land traffic uh, weather black sky hard no mf victor one zero on final runway three zero there we go beautiful power to 1500 i like to keep it around that and one more notch of flap remember the airplane will love to climb okay will love to climb now because you're giving a you're giving that airplane uh, you're giving the airplane we're coming a little bit fast but we're gonna float it out to reduce the airspeed okay we're gonna reduce the uh, how to when you have a long we're gonna have to bleed the airspeed so let's bleed the airspeed here here we go, 70 that's good see how we bleed the airspeed 60 knots power cut okay here we go that's how you bleed the airspeed okay here we go flaps up Fifty five knots, rotate here we go. How long is this stream? I don't know. <laughs> Probably gonna do a couple touch and goes in here and then we're gonna land in uh, back into in Flaria County. Alright, so we're good over here. Ghost Rider 115, don't say that. Don't say that. I de completely disagree with that. Don't do college. I do college. You have to do college in order to fly planes. I'm telling you, man. Don't say that. Uh, in order to fly for regional airlines, you don't need college. But if you want to fly for American United, uh, all these major airlines, you need a degree. So, <laughs> don't follow that. Do whatever you like. Ghost Rider 115, I, I, don't, I don't agree with that. If you like to go to college, do it. That's all you need to do. If you don't listen to people saying don't go to college it's a waste of time or go to work no it's don't don't do that if you don't want to go to college don't go that's your choice um uh i didn't go to college yet i didn't go to college uh but if you want to go to college go for it all right 20 it's power to 2300 college is very important college is expensive yes get scholarships though College is expensive, that is true. And it's unfair to the kids in the US, in my opinion. Let me not, let's not, let not get me political. It's unfair because I went to college. If I went to college, I'll probably go to college back home in Italy where it's cheaper and it's better. I mean, uh, also the first, uh, first university is around the world where made, we're actually in Italy. So, there we go. 20, power to 2300. The land traffic, black and white Skyhawk, and remember Alpha Victor 1 0 on the left downwind for runway 3 0. The land traffic.
Yeah, go to college, man. No, no. I mean, uh, go to college if you have to. It's it, it can be helpful because it's something you like to do, but uh, you don't need to stick with a aviation degree. Uh, degree. You can do whatever you want. All right, here we go. We are passing the threshold there. So, part it seventeen hundred RPM. Let the plane bleed some of that airspeed so we can get into the arc. Yeah, plus one. The land traffic, uh, black and white Skyhawk, November Alpha Victor 1 0, turning left to base, uh, runway 3 0 on the land traffic. Gonna keep an eye on that by leveling the wings. Here we go. We are a bit high. So we're gonna have to drop a little bit airspeed. And drop the flaps. Make sure the mixture's in. The land traffic uh when a black sky on November F Victor 10 turning on left on the final runway 30 to land traffic. And we probably overshoot a little bit. Ah uh, no, we actually pretty good. Full flaps down. That's a short. Okay. Let's bleed out the airspeed. There we go. Nice. Pops up. There we go. Keep an eye behind. Keep it ahead. We want to be aligned with the runway. Right, a little bit of right rudder always helps. See, this is what happens when you don't keep the right rudder. See how you go off? Let me show you. Now you need to keep always a little bit of right rudder. JWC Lano, welcome aboard, my friend. Welcome, welcome. There we go. So now, let's make a call saying that we are departing traffic to the east, uh, to the north, actually. The line traffic, uh, white and black sky, hot November Alpha Victor 1 0, departing the traffic pattern to the northeast. Uh, last call, the land traffic. That's the last call. I'm gonna be climbing to our destination. Here we go. Oop, what was that? Big weather update, I believe. This is not the real weather here in, <laughs> in Florida now. It's definitely not. So let's pull up our charts again and see where we're going. So we don't need that one. We don't need that one. Okay, we're gonna keep this one on. So let's see now the oh, wrong one. Uh which one here? Believe maps. As you can see, if we go alright, don't trust these rings. Trust this one more. Okay. Uh keep a buffer zone. I try I mean these rings are right so, okay but make sure you actually are using these rings here you know you're gonna stay off this so how we know we're gonna have to stay off to the left side of this we basically see a bunch of lake and we're gonna pass over those bunch of lakes if we are on that side of the lake that means we are getting too close okay And once we see Orman Beach, we're gonna try to have maybe out towards Lake Distant again. Let's try Lake Distant again. So, let's 
just a couple of screenshots here. Lake Distant is right there. Mantequilla. <laughs> Alright my friends, let's hit the like and subscribe button and join us on Discord. I'm still doing a nice cruise climb, so let's pitch up a little bit more. There we go. We are over Lafayette uh, Airport, private over there, and then we're gonna send it right to Lake Distant. Once we hit Lake Distant, we're gonna start going towards the coast. And do one traffic pattern in there. There you go, now, part 2300, that is good. That's leg distant right above, uh, in front of us. Lean the mixture a little bit. That should be good. Descend a little bit. So we know now whenever we do a, a, a turn, we lose some of that lift component because then uh, uh, the uh, the components of the lift get breaking up so you will see the component with we, we saw the components of lift before okay so um whenever we we do a turn uh our weights our 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 vectors acts differently so the weight lift trust and drag they all change so when we have a turn we have a loss a little bit of loss on uh, on lift and that's why the planes tends to descend and to increase that we need to increase the angle of attack a little bit and we see now let's come back a straight and level flight all right that's this is straight and level all right okay let's uh, have it nice and stable now let's do a turn towards east okay look what if i don't do anything what happens okay let's keep it like this like let's this is what it's doing the plane is descending why is that because we are losing part of the lift vector all right of course when we're lose now we're losing we're losing uh air sp uh, we're losing um we're losing with uh altitude okay what happened we're pitching down so when we pitch down it increases airspeed it increases the airflow over the wing and it regenerates lift again so this is about aerodynamics all about aerodynamics a lot of aerodynamics in here um so whenever we we do a turn we want to give a tiny bit of touch of uh, power maybe or increase the angle of attack a tiny bit but don't increase it too much because stalls can happen and any speed and any angle of attack so let's see i'll give you a stall okay here let's do let's do this you don't need to try this now like this here we go that's a stall that's a stall right there mm. right so that that's definitely a stall i mean even though it didn't ring that's definitely was a stall 
so it can let you want to see it you say you think we're not gonna happen at a high power setting let's do full power okay full power and nose up let's 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 climb back to okay there we go that's good enough let's do this let's do a, a power up here we go and here we go that's recover immediately let the speed come up here you go that's basically power on stall very 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 badly done uh i didn't want to go through the whole steps and procedure of power on stall but this is what happened when you have a stall did you see how one of the wings dropped why did it drop you lose you don't lose a uh, lift on both wings you lose wings on one of the wings okay and that's why if you if you actually start losing like lift on both wings you're gonna add into a spin you don't want to get into that so the moment one wing drop that means you're stalling so that's oh recover immediate power too bad uh, in this case we already have full power so what we're gonna do is push down the nose a little bit to recover some of that airspeed and then do it so very important stalls can happen at any airspeed okay it can happen at any airspeed all it has to be it's a, a very bad angle of attack and some bad weight so that's why they say don't do maneuvers over 105 knots because then you're gonna get into a stall immediately all right so we are over lake distant now Let me get a picture here. Nice. Let's go to Flagler County Airport and get back to the base. So, stalls can happen again at any time because of. Uh, not because of the airspeed it's because of the angle of attack at higher angle of attack the f their airflow over the wing gets disrupted so when that happens uh, you lose the weight you lose lift okay one way to know that all right let's see if we can get this the little thing uh let me see what uh, it's a very easy thing that you can do is actually grab a piece of paper okay and you start blowing on the top of the paper now not every single paper this is a, let's see if it works but <laughs> see what happened oh, no, this is a bandit but it happened for a second if you saw it it goes up this now this is bended but if we take a, a perfect it you will see a tiny bit it went up a little bit now we're heading towards the wrong airport that's ormond beach but uh let me see if we have a better paper but basically what's what is that what does that mean okay let me get this paper here we go perfect there you go see this is let's think about this as a, a wing you have the upper and the lower side okay of the wing Ooh, by the way we'll be losing some altitude so let's regain some altitude oh there we go <laughs> captain uh, charlie chuckley that's kind of random but it's okay whatever <laughs> There we go. So let's do this little thing quickly. And come back to our altitude, three thousand feet. And I give you an example for aerodynamics there. Out to twenty three hundred. That's good.
Okay, so again, let's take this piece of paper and let's think this is the airfoil of your wing. Okay, so let's blow up here. See what happened? Why? The m why when I blow on top of this, this climbs? Why? Well, it climbs because uh, you have uh, you creating lift. Lift is nothing else than airflow. Okay, so if uh, the more the more airflow goes on your wings, the better lift you get. Okay, so what you doing by by doing this? You removing some of the molecules that are sitting in here. Basically, that's what it happened. That's you're disturbing the airflow over here. Uh, the molecules over here and that creates that the lift is can act a little bit more here we go by doing this we keep losing some <laughs> increasing altitude see as you see i'm blowing right on top of it and it goes up same thing is with the wing same exact thing happens with the wings this is airflow the airflow the more airflow flows above the wing the more lift we can achieve okay the less we this this air uh, airflow goes over your wing the less effective your controls are remember whenever we are getting into a stall we start stalling from the tip of the wing or oh, slowly all the way to the we never usually very hardly get a stall on a full wing stall on on uh, on a Cessna 172 but it always start from a tip okay that's how it goes And uh, let's check now how far are we from our... Let's not even look at the G1000 and see if we can read uh, this map. So we should be... We are right here. That's the 5 nautical miles, by the way. Okay. So we are about 6, 7... I want to say 7 miles uh, out. So let's double check. I might be wrong. Okay, 6 miles out. 6, 7 miles out, I said. So that sounds about right six miles out and let's connect to one two two decimal eight and actually let's connect to the eightus so one two two decimal okay one two two decimal zero and see the weather Kilo, Foxtrot, India, November, airport information, Victor, 1950, Zulu, weather, wind, calm, visibility, 10, sky condition, few clouds at 9,900, temperature, 22, 2.14, altimeter, 2994, advise on initial contact, you have information, Victor. Kilo, Foxtrot, India, November, airport information, Victor, 1950, Zulu, weather, wind, calm, visibility, 10, sky condition, few clouds at 9,900, temperature, 2, 2, 2.14, altimeter, 2,994, advise on initial contact, you have info. Okay, we got that one in, 1, to 1, 1, to 2, decimal 8. Kilo, Foxtrot, India, November, airport information, whiskey, 1950, Zulu, weather, wind, calm, visibility, 10, sky condition, few clouds at 9,900, temperature, 2, 2, 2.14, 2 altimeter, 2,994, advise on initial contact, you have information, whiskey, Kilo, Foxtrot, India, November, airport information, whiskey, one. Okay, we are back in Unicom. Frey County Airport, White Black Sky Card, November Alpha Victor 10, traffic advisories. Shit. 
sure that would be the apocalypse. Alright, County Airport, uh, traffic, November Alpha Victor 10 will enter on a left downwind runway 11. We are 5 miles out, through a correction, 4 miles out, Flag County Airport. Hold on. Okay, thank oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah thank you. Busy. Awesome. Thank you. Ooh, got a sandwich. Alright, so we got that one in. It doesn't usually doesn't really happen on a flight, but <laughs> So we're gonna keep a thousand feet, okay? The airport over there. Ooh, smells good. That's the highway, I-95, run below us. It's I-95 there. So I'm gonna start my turn. So we said runway 11, so we're gonna set the heading 112 basically. That's the heading of the airport, I will see. No, that's not my that's not my brother. Here we go. So 1,500, uh, 1,400. That's uh, looking good. I-95 is right here. That's the interstate I-95. Okay. I get be the power 2300 that will help our descend a little bit faster get there a little bit faster there you go that's the airport there once i hit 100 that's when i want to start my turn basically That's the I-95 intersection bridge with 100. There we go. Okay, power to 2300. Friar County Apple, black and white Skyhawk, and remember Alpha Victor 10 on the left downwind runway 11, uh, Flagger County Airport. Oh, he took the stream down. Okay. Keep it 2300. There you go, we are approaching the threshold. It's the airport, uh, uh, this flight school, uh, the flight school, the school, the high school. And we are a beam, so power to 1700. Pitch up a little bit so we can bleed that airspeed. I'm gonna be on the white arc. That's the easiest way for me to understand the white arc. It's over here too. And then, plus. And we start our turn. Power to 17. Flight County Airport, November for Victor 10, turning left base uh, for runway 11, uh, Flight County traffic. Okay, double check. We start descending. Another notch of flap. I want to go about that speed. There we go. Power to 1500, that will help. Power to 
and a flag county airport traffic uh, number alpha victor one zero on final runway one one last call Flaps uh, full down. So we're gonna now we're gonna have to flee. Let's see, we're high, right? So let's do a zero side slip. There we go. Now that's good. That's good enough. Uh, just a little bit. We need back in track. That was a bit too much zero side slip in there. Keep the power on a little bit. And power cut off. Yep. The nose wheel up. We'll see how long we can keep the nose wheel up. <laughs> That's it. Is anyone on the frequency you're on? No, no I don't think so. There we go. Okay, flaps are clear. Landing lights can come off, uh, uh, strobe lights can come off, uh, we keep it this way, yeah, go straight ahead. Left to right clear. Yes, I live in Florida, I go straight to 115. I live in uh, actually right close to here, uh, to this airport. I live in Palm Coast, Florida. Okay, keep it like this, and we are uh, on the ramp area basically. This is a scenery I've been developing. The only thing I'm missing is one a building in there. can turn out the avionics taxi lights can come off at this point We can take this one here. There we go. 
All right, let's do the ch shutdown checklist uh, quickly. Um, let me see. Poor climb. Okay, shutdown. Go around. No, after. <clears throat> We're gonna set the parking brakes. Parking brakes is set. Have you any master switches on? Magneto ground tester. We're just checking if the key uh, comes up now. Initial key removal stopping. If it doesn't, that's good. And then. Uh, there we go make sure cut off initial k key after the prop to stop we can turn it off okay ignition key place on dashboard standby battery switch can come off and securing the aircraft the hobs and tech time let's write it down so we got uh 4.0 on the uh tech i believe and then the hobs at the times are usually here Engine 4.6, okay. Okay. We did, everything's okay. Cabin closed, interior panel lights, so everything can come off. Taxi lights. Are they on or off? Okay. Taxi lights and have everything is off. A few pump is off. A pitot heat is off. We leave the beaker lights on. The battery mars switch uh, is going to be off. And let's do the securing the plane and the tie downs. So walk around. Here we go. Post flight pitot tube cover. Tie down, tie down, shocks, cover, tie down, here we go, shocks, finish. I'm gonna check quickly also the maintenance and see if anything is good. Winds, uh, fuel, okay, good, clean, everything looks fine. We've been very good using this plane for now. We have 47 hours to go to change the oil factory k okay. use tuned okay that's good all right there we go everything is good all right all right folks so let's uh deep brief quickly what we have done today there we go this is our beautiful livery that connor morris uh, lovely made us for made for us thank you so much connor morris by the way and uh, let's uh, brief quickly what we have done today so let's uh, go in our brief room and uh, pull up the information we need usually this one. where is it can't get oh let's disconnect from swift too close swift disconnect disconnect close disconnect close um why is it not coming what are we looking for go here and here hmm just a second i had the uh display capture that is not coming up Uh, hello. Is it not capturing that display? There we go. Well, let's do this. I mean, let's go over here. New scene. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Let's do it this way. Okay, so we did uh, our flights today, and. Uh, we actually did the first part here, here last time in lesson number one we covered the aerodynamics of the airplane and the four fundamentals of flight so uh we did that airplane instruments are going to be the next time and the basic instrument maneuver so we're going to start doing the use of the heading bug use of the altitude indicator uh use of the um uh 
um, flight director and the use of uh, the uh, compass compass is going to be a very fun thing to learn because uh, you will notice that uh, you had to turn at a certain angle at a certain time you to uh, to roll out uh, 20 de uh, 10 degrees before because the uh compass is not accurate on a turn so that's something you need to know there you go airplane instruments we did we did uh, basically what we did the four uh, fundamentals of life so we covered all our stuff uh, about aerodynamics so we know what causes a stall is the a lack of airflow over the wing and the angle directly related to the angle of attack and the airspeed of course too and the weight of the aircraft these three are the, these are three main factors for so um lift it's provided by the number the by the airflow so again how we do that by increasing the trust increasing trust increases the not the airflow that goes over the wing and that's how we get it all right and uh, um also if you increase the angle of attack you will get a, you will lose some of that lift because you will disrupt the flow of the wing um and again remember the full stall doesn't happen on the whole wing it happens from the tip the very end tip of the wing and it goes all the way to the end to almost the fuselage that's how you stall but it happens from farther down and then it gets inner um the other thing is when we have to consider our weight weight is very important because that's when we know um if we can take off and we uh, we went through the and uh, basic number the cessna 172 which is a 2550 uh, on the maximum takeoff uh, weight 2550 on the maximum landing weight and 2558 which is the maximum ramp weight allowed so if you have 2558 you have eight pounds to lose before you take off make sure you do that uh, it's very important that we stay within the limits on the graphs we're going to show up the graphs tomorrow to uh, the next time on the next lesson and uh, make sure also you stick to the checklist and stick to the airspeeds takeoff landing airspeeds cruise climbs and the rpm so we did a traffic pattern we're doing the same things every single time remember 2300 rpm when we're cruising 2300 on rpm on the downwind sector once we we uh, on the downwind once we reach a beam of the threshold the runway we intend to land we're gonna cut the power to 1700 rpm let the speed to bleed out a little bit reach the white arc where we can start deploying the flap one and then we start our turn don't need to waste too long time remember you want to do a, have a very close traffic you don't want to go farther away with a cessna and then turn towards the base left to right base remember now again say stay, stay below the uh, the uh, stay in the white arc and drop another notch of flap Keep an eye on the runway, see where you are located, and then uh, when you're ready, turns towards final and you drop the last notch of flap. Every time you deploy flaps, the aircraft will try to get to to increase to to climb. That's because it induced an increase of lift, which is temporary. Because remember, once you drop the flaps, you will also increase the drag. And that means your airspeed will bleed out very quickly so don't make sure you don't cut the power don't cut the power when you when you see the plane that is climbing because that will put you in a very dangerous situation just push the nose down keep the use the trim well uh, keep the nose down and then once that is done you're on final keep it up between the 17 uh, 15 and 1600 rpm that will give you a good rate of descent and uh, if you are too high zero side slit that means put the opposite rudder and opposite aileron together don't go over crazy with that we saw what happened when you go too much crazy with that my my rudders are a little bit too sensitive i need to adjust that but when you go too crazy you will, you will go all over the place so don't go super crazy once you are you think you're good on the height recover keep it straight and uh, over the threshold cut the power out let the plane sink let the plane come down like slowly come down pitch up a little bit right on there a couple feet above it let here you want to hear the little stall warning coming up the perfect landing is where it's a stall so let it let the plane stall on the runway not like a hundred feet above it but like literally a couple of feet above it and then that's it that's all we do uh we're gonna practice more short and take uh short 
field takeoff and landing. We practiced today also uh, uh, an, uh, uh, a rejected takeoff uh, on the runway. So immediately when you have a problem, like something like your instructor usually will do that. They will pull the rudder, the, the brake on one side and you will see the plane will start going off the runway almost. So then you immediately power cut off and apply the brakes immediately that's the first thing you have to do and your uh check ride uh your check ride examiner will do the same thing when you take off he won't tell you when uh on takeoff he will slam on one brake on the, on the toe brake on one side and the plane will start going towards left or right depends on which one he pressed and then you will immediately have to cut the power off and apply the brakes and you have to call that it, power um reject the takeoff power cut off uh, power apply brakes that's you have to call every single thing you do and as we we, we did that so we did a reject takeoff uh, remember uh, next time we'll try and do a soft feel let's see if we can do a soft feel landings and takeoff if we have some time but yeah next time will be mostly about instruments so and also we did uh, some ground reference maneuvers today so we did a turn around a point and some uh, uh turn uh s turns like so 90 degrees turns uh into following a road uh, winds input crosswind input so that's very important that's why we do the crown reference maneuver it's for traffic pattern work we want to make sure you maintain the same distance from an object you want to maintain the same uh, um when you do turns you want to make sure that you're doing it correctly that you are coming to making a turn coming in on final right in front of the runway why you do that because you have to check consider the speed and the uh, force of the winds acting on your plane so that's why we do those turns so when we pick up a road on the ground and we do 90 degrees turns on both sides and that's what we do um we we're gonna go through the all the other things in the next lessons and lesson number four will be fun slow flight installs but Thank you so <clears throat> sorry, thank you so much for now for watching. We'll actually come back over here, get this one over here. Hold on. The briefer room didn't work. Uh where are you? Live scene. Here we go. Alright, so everyone, thank you so much. Oh now this the screen works here. I see. But thank you so much everyone for watching. JW Silano, ADS Barrier, Ghost Rider 115, Charlie Checklist. Um, let me see who else. Captain Geo, uh, Mr. Clay, hi, and ever Spec Life, Rocco, and everyone that joined us today. Uh, Ab uh Abdendur, I believe. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. You guys are amazing. We'll see you next time. And uh, Avio Man is out. Peace out, guys. The blue skies, everyone.